Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. for just being who you are. Yes. Just being who you are. You know, you, you, you hear the Lord saying that we have to die to ourselves. And, and this morning, another brother who walked with the Lord left here because he died to himself. The Bible is clear about life after this death. The Bible is clear, except you be born again, you cannot enter into this life that comes after this one. So many people prepare themselves uh, for this life uh, and they make no preparation uh, for the life after this. Uh, and so when God come, uh, who don't come early, uh, he don't come when we want him to, but he's on time. Uh, and God said, uh, I don't want you to think about tomorrow uh, for the enemy is going about today uh, seeking whom he can devour. Uh, so many times God asks us, uh, will you trust me? Uh, will you let me have my way? Uh, will you break yourself down and allow the life of Christ uh, to live in you? Uh, by, the Bible says that the Lord saw Nicodemus uh, under the tree, under the sycamore tree. Uh, and when Nic Nicodemus got there, uh, he said, who art thou? Uh, and the Lord said, and I, I am the one uh, that was to come. Uh, but he told Nicodemus, uh, who was one of the pillars of the church, uh, he said, you must be born again. You must die to this flesh because he said flesh and blood cannot inherit uh, the kingdom of heaven. Uh, flesh and blood is not going in. Amen. And we always worry about this and that and the other. And he said there's one thing that you need to worry about, and that's me. How many times have we stood and thought about, you know, I confess in Romans 9 and 10, I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and I believed in my heart that God raised him from the dead. And with my confession, he said, I'm saved. Not saved to this flesh, uh, but saved to him who said, they can't give my life, uh, I lay it down. Uh, saved to him who said, uh, I have come uh, that you might have life uh, and that you might have it uh, more abundantly. Uh, I told my brother, I said, I don't know how we going this morning, uh, but we just going to go uh, because so many times uh, when something happens uh, and we don't have our relationship with the king, in order. We can't hear God. Jesus said, John 10, 10, he said, I have come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. He said the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. We trust Jesus with salvation, but we won't trust Jesus with us. We trust Jesus that we've been born again, but we are still talking about our way. He said, can't no flesh even 
enter into his presence. I, I can't come in his presence. I, my physical structure won't allow me to approach a holy God. I, I can only come to him I, in the name of Jesus. I, and he said, if I've been born again, I, he said, I need you to go and tell them I, that the wages of sin I, is still death. Romans 6, 23, I'm working with it, but I got to work this way because the Bible says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water that we are all one. When one of us suffer, we all suffer because he said he died for the sins of the whole world. That means everybody. Yeah. Romans 8 and 1 says, therefore, there is no condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ. Now, I haven't been born again physically, so there had to have been something that happened uh, in the supernatural realm uh, that when I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and I believed in my heart that he saved me, uh, I was born again, uh, not of the outer man, but the inner man uh, until you are willing to let go of you uh, and allow the God that I serve uh, to come forth. Uh, he can't do nothing and, uh, unless you allow it. Uh, he said the spirit is willing, uh, but the flesh is weak. Uh, he said pray to the father of the harvest uh, that he would thrust forth more laborers uh, into his vineyard. Uh, we see folks going day and night, uh, but we are not allowing God uh, to take what he has put uh, in these earthen vessels uh, so that the power might be of God uh, and not of us. Uh, we don't want to trust God. God and his word uh, that he says study how uh, to show yourself approved uh, a workman that needed not be ashamed uh, rightly dividing the word of truth uh, we don't want to trust the Lord uh, when he said I beseech ye brethren uh, by the mercies of God <coughs> excuse me Chris <coughs> 1 Corinthians 15, 53, while I drink a little water. You see, I could do this or then I lose because he said, I need you to be wise. But he said, for the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, the mortal with immortality. Who got to do it? I got to do it. I, I accepted him. I, I accepted his conditions. I, I acknowledged that he was Lord. I, I acknowledged that my life didn't mean nothing, I, that it was all about him I, and not about me. I, I acknowledged that the God that I serve, I, he said, I beseech ye, brethren, I, by the mercies of God, I, that you present yourself I, as a living sacrifice sacrifice, uh, holy and acceptable unto God, uh, but that's the least that you can do. Uh, and he said, be not conformed uh, unto this world, uh, but be conformed uh, by the renewing of your mind uh, that you might present yourself. We want to come to God any kind of way. And God said, you can't get to me except you come through my son. There, there, there's no way in. All the others are thieves and robbers. If you want to come to the throne, you got to be born again, and then you got to use the name of Jesus. He, 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 he authorized all of us to use the name. 
he commissioned all of us. He said, you are ambassadors for Jesus Christ. Don't you know that you are the only Jesus the folks are going to see? He said, I came that the church would understand that upon this rock, I'm going to build my church and the very gates of hell will not prevail against my church. So many times the church is wandering around, wondering who going to do this and who going to do that. And the Lord said, I just need a vessel that is willing to say, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. I just need a vessel that's willing to humble themselves so that I can exalt them in due season. We always wait now a turn. And he said, the harvest is plentiful. The laborers are so few. Folks say, oh, we need a revival. Until you die to yourself, there won't be no revival. Because you're the one that the Lord said, I have given you power over all works of the enemy. I, 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 I done gave you the power to come boldly to the throne uh, so that you might find help uh, and strength uh, in your time of need. We go around moping uh, and whining uh, and complaining. Uh, and God said, who had believed the report of the Lord? Uh, in Isaiah 55 and 10, he said, the word will not return void. But it will accomplish what you sent it out to do. Amen. God said, just go tell them that I love them right where they are. And all of a sudden, we are experts on Christianity. And we know they need to do this. And they need to do that. And they need to do the other. But Jesus said, I have come to do the will of my Father who has sent me. I didn't come for me. I didn't come for you. I came to do the will of my Father who sent me. I know a pilgrim made it home this morning uh, because for 90 years uh, he took the time to make sure uh, that he was about his father's business. Uh, and while folks are weeping because he's gone, uh, he's rejoicing uh, because he took off the corruptible uh, and he's put on the cor uncorruptible. And because he's seated uh, in heavenly places, uh, I got another witness up there ha, telling me to hold on ha, and hold out. Ha. Don't have to have no more medicine. Ha. Don't need to go to the doctor no more. Ha. I done made it to my father's house. Ha. And in my father's house ha, are many mansions. Ha. He said if it was not so, ha, I would have told you. And God said the just got to live by faith and we come over here and we act like we don't know what faith is and yet we confessed him with our mouth and we believe in our heart that the king of glory was raised from the dead and he we acknowledge that we would be his witnesses as acts the seventh chapter was closing. Uh, we find Stephen uh, standing up telling the Israelites uh, about how stiff naked uh, and hard hearted they were. Uh, how they always resist the Holy Ghost. Uh, he said you're just like your fathers. Uh, they resisted. Uh, they killed the prophets uh, and those that were sent. Uh, but he said behold uh, sometimes we need to look up uh, and see if we can 
see some glory. Uh, we always looking down. Uh, it ain't nothing down there. Uh, Stephen said, uh, oh, uh, I look up uh, and I see the heavens open. Uh, and the Son of Man uh, done stood up uh, by the right hand of the Father. And he said, Father, lay not this to their charge. Because they don't even know what they're doing. How many times do we let what folks did 10, 15, 20 years ago stop us from doing what God said? He said, if you have aught uh, against anybody, uh, you leave your gift here on this altar uh, and you go and be reconciled uh, to whoever it is uh, that's stopping you uh, from getting me my glory. Uh, so many times we hear Jesus say, uh, the Lord said, forgive. Uh, and if you don't forgive, uh, you can't inherit uh, what is here. Uh, I'm my favorite scripture. Uh, and how I walk with God uh, is Mark 11 and 22, uh, which says, have faith in God. Uh, don't have no faith in me. Uh, have faith in God. Uh, Jesus said, whatsoever uh, you desire when you pray, uh, he said, if you believe that you have it, uh, you shall have it. Uh, but he said, if you there uh, receive and uh, release that brother, uh, or that sister uh, that you have unforgiveness for. Uh, sometimes God be asking us uh, to do what only we can do uh, from the inner man. Uh, and we don't want to let God uh, have his way. Uh, we hold people in bondage. Uh, we hold people in check uh, because they hurt my feelings. Uh, because they didn't go along with what I thought. Uh, because they said something uh, that they shouldn't said, uh, and how many times uh, do we look back over our lives uh, and see when we didn't have no hope uh, and no God, uh, and then we showed up at God's house, uh, and we are experts uh, in the Bible. Uh, we already know uh, what to do, uh, and the Lord said, uh, except you be like babes, uh, you can't inherit uh, the kingdom of heaven. Uh, some of us have to die uh, a thousand deaths uh, in order to receive that uh, in which God has for us. Uh, he said you ought to be on meat, uh, but you're still walking around here uh, dealing with those elementary things, uh, drinking milk uh, that just goes through you uh, and don't want to take the word, uh, don't want to take the manual uh, and say if God be for me, uh, who in the world going to be against me. Uh, if I don't know what to say, uh, he said, don't take no thought uh, about what you going to say. Uh, he said, it'll be given to you uh, in that very hour. Uh, we won't even trust God. Uh, right. Well, you know, I don't have my Bible. You think the, why, the devil going to wait till you get it? Oh, hold up, devil. Wait a minute. I need to go get my Bible. No, he said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. It's not me speaking. It's him speaking. It's not me with the power. It's him who has entrusted me with his power. It's not me that tre has treasures uh, in these mere earthen vessels. Uh, it's him that put treasures uh, in these earthen vessels. Uh, he said, so that the power uh, might be of God uh, and not of us. Uh, so many times we want to get some credit, uh, and it ain't no credit over here. Uh, either you're going to do it God's way, uh, or you're not going to get paid. Uh, that eternal life uh, is only hope to Christ, uh, that eternal living uh, is only if I hear what the Spirit is saying. Uh, and, and the Lord said, uh, be not led uh, by your own self. And you know we so deep. Well, I just know what I ought to do. No, you don't. Because if God hadn't caused your body to move this morning, if God hadn't left air here, 
there wouldn't have been nothing you could do. We wake up complaining. And here folks trying, kept trying, and trying to see and hear and want to know if God is still alive. He's alive in you. He's alive in you. Isaiah 54 and 17, I told you I'm, 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 I'm flowing. So y'all let God do what he do. Says no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And even every tongue uh, that rise against you uh, in judgment, uh, thou shalt condemn. Uh, so many times we see God uh, and we hear God uh, and we still allow words uh, to separate us from the glory of God uh, because we don't think God ought to let us uh, have to go through nothing. Uh, but I heard him uh, when his son came on the scene. He said, I must uh, do what the Father said had to be done. Uh, and he told John the Baptist, uh, he said, you got to baptize me. Uh, it's written, uh, I got to go down in that water uh, that when I come up, uh, that Holy Spirit uh, will listen upon me. Uh, and I'm going to be a witness, uh, but I need the power uh, before I go out there. Uh, to challenge my church folks, uh, to challenge God's folks, uh, to challenge those who say uh, that it don't take all of that. Uh, he said, if I got to do it, uh, then you better believe that you better do it too. Uh, sometimes we want to go tell somebody something, uh, but don't have no power uh, to be the witness that God said uh, that we supposed to be a witness. Uh, God will tell you things uh, as you go uh, that only God knows uh, that so many times we'll speak a word uh, and folk don't want to hear the word uh, and we'll speak a word uh, and folk don't want to hear the word uh, and then some joker show up uh, and tell them something about himself uh, and mess them up uh, because they say well if he only got this for uh, then Lord help me now uh, Lord thank you uh, that I know that the Redeemer uh, is still delivering, uh, that the 11th hour uh, is still running, uh, that the people of God uh, need to rise up uh, as the army of God uh, and say, if God be for me, uh, who in the world going to be against me? Uh, if the people of God uh, would be rejoicing uh, and counting it all joy uh, instead of looking around, uh, talking about what the world's condition is. Uh, the Bible says God, uh, who is sovereign, uh, holds the whole world uh, in his hand. Uh, and if God said, uh, great is he that is in you uh, than he that is in the world, uh, then I'm going to trust God uh, that he is still in control. Uh, he said when the wicked uh, get worse and worse, uh, he said the just uh, are going to have to stand up uh, and be more just. Uh, so many time God asks us, uh, will you die to yourself? Uh, and we so busy looking uh, at the outside, uh, we can't see the manifestation uh, of God's glory uh, on the inside. Uh, we still think we ought to be able to use those five senses, uh, and they don't work over here. Uh, because last week, uh, my Bible tells me the enemy uh, will come uh, he came last week uh, and he said, you not going to church. Uh, you too sick uh, to go to church. Uh, and I said, the devil is a lie. Uh, and I got up uh, and I put my clothes on uh, and I came to God's house uh, because God, uh, who loves you more than you love yourself, uh, said he is worthy. Of all your praise. Now I'm almost finished. So in case y'all thought that was my introduction, it wasn't. <laughs> First John. One. And nine. He said, if I confess my sins, 
he is faithful and just to forgive me and cleanse me. He said, if I say I have no sin, then the truth is not in me. Well, brother, how you figure out on sin? Because God asked you to go and tell that brother so and so and so, and you wouldn't go. Because brother, the God asked you to go and tell that sister that you love him, and you said, ain't no way. Because God asked you to pray, and you said, I'm too busy. Because God said, I want you to pull down the strongholds uh, that are in your mind. Uh, you can't pull them down uh, until you deny yourself uh, and take up your cross. Uh, everybody want to be at the cross of Jesus, uh, but don't want nobody want to take the cross uh, and follow him. Uh, ain't nobody ever stretched you wide. Uh, ain't nobody ever nailed you to no wood. Uh, ain't nobody ever pierced you in your side uh, and yet they did that to my savior uh, and we walk around like they ought to be glad I'm here uh, no I'm glad uh, that he kept me uh, when I didn't know him as Lord uh, he delivered me out of the hand of the enemy uh, when I thought I was lucky uh, I found out I was blessed uh, that God chose me uh, for such a time as this uh, so that he might show himself Self, uh, strong in me. Uh, he said, these signs uh, shall follow them that believe. Uh, he said, in my name. Yeah. He said, they shall lay hands on the sick. And he said, they will recover. <coughs> How many times? And my wife will tell you, I lay hands on myself because the power is in me. But if it don't manifest out of me, then the Bible says that the only thing the Father is going to honor is his word. Matthew 8, 17 says, He bore our infirmities, carried our diseases. He did it so that we didn't have to. The Bible says that darkness cannot overcome light. And yet we allow our flesh to tell us that God ain't really all that. When we see the storms all around us and we see destruction everywhere, and God said, I need you to pray. I need you to pray. I need you to pray. The enemy is going about like a roaring lion, but the church still. That ain't my job. You want to get paid, don't you? You want to hear him say, well done. Thou good and faithful servant. Come on up. Come on up. And receive your crown. I'm finished. So many times y'all still sitting down and I'm through. What's wrong with y'all? Don't y'all get it? That's it. He said what he had to say. You know that you're the only Jesus that folks see, and yet you won't trust God to speak a word through you. You won't trust God with the power that he has placed in you. You won't trust God to do. He said the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. He said pray ye to the Father of the harvest that he would thrust all more laborers into his vineyard. It's the 11th hour, y'all. And God looking for us to let folks know I'm one of the ones. I'm the one that he said, call 
unto me and I will answer thee and I will show thee great and mighty things and which thou knowest not. He said, but you got to come. You got to come. He said, is anything too hard for the Lord? It is if I won't ask him. It is if I won't believe him. It is if I won't trust him. He said, I, I, I told you if you go, I'd go with you. And I would be with you always. Even until the end of the earth. Chris, I'm finished, but I want you to go to Romans, the 12th chapter. This is for my brother that went home this morning. You know, you think God don't know, but God knows. Before we even open our mouths, God already knows. He knows, he knows because he said to us, trust me. So he said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. What a way to hear him say welcome. What a way to hear him say well done. What a way to hear him say that's all I ask you to do. He heard that this morning. He said, come on home. Come on home. He gave his life for you. Will you let him do what he said for you? Will you let him use you for his glory? 